So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and we are back here for another episode of the Orlando Magic My GM series. Now, I've been simming a lot of this series and I know that I've actually not been uploading the last few days. I've been really, really sick and very, very busy. But I am feeling a little bit better, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to be doing this today. Obviously, we've been simming, like I said before, and our team is still, we're off to a really, really good start. Still one of the best teams in the NBA. Zion might be getting another MVP. And of course, Jaden McDaniels, you guys saw it in the last one. Boy's been killing it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this series, make sure you go and smash the like button, of course, subscribe. Let's get 130 likes for another episode, and I am going to be posting a lot more NBA top content, so stay tuned for that. I just got to get back into the flow of things, like... I used to upload every single day. Now I feel like it's more every other day because I'm a lot more busy now. But anyways, just let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. And other than that, let's get straight into it, man. We're taking on the New York Knicks. Obviously, they got RJ Barrett on their squad. Uh, they got Kevin Knox. I think he's coming off the bench, though. They got Chris Middleton, Blake Griffin. This team is pretty good. I think that we can beat them, but they're no slouch. So let's get straight into this gameplay. And let's see if we can take down the Knicks. Let's get it. It's Eastern Conference time for the traveling Orlando Magic today. Welcome to the Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. For the Knicks, they continue their stretch of home games. They've really been on a roll. They've gone five and one in their last six games. Well, their team, no one wants to face right now. The level they maintain. season outdoors it's no longer new the play so getting straight into it let's see what we got going man like i said before we're obviously the reigning champions i think that we can do this again here zion yeah that first step you're literally never gonna catch him but anyways guys i do want to apologize again for taking like those few days off i'm still kind of sick you have to probably like hear a little bit in, in my voice but i didn't want to go the entire week without like one upload or at least like explaining it but anyways, guys, like, like I was saying in the intro, I do plan on uploading a lot more NBA-type content as far as updates. Just that the NBA season is dry. Like, I don't want to become, like, a new channel. Like, that's something that I never really wanted to, like, do. But, like, there's, like, nothing to talk about in the NBA. I mean, I, I did do my awards uh, last Saturday. So, if you guys missed that, make sure you go over and check it out. But, yeah, man, I really just don't know because, like, we are towards the end of the season. I guess I can do a mock draft for this year's NBA draft. I mean, there's obviously some really, really good prospects. And I guess talking about March Madness, I didn't really want to cover the whole Lonzo Ball, big, big baller brand stuff because it was still kind of developing at that moment. But yeah, getting right back in, into it, you guys. Right now, we are down by one, 23 to 22. Zion catching a flight. He's doing his thing, man. Jaden McDaniels, he's been going off the entire season. You guys saw him in the opener. He had like 40 points or something on Kevin Durant. I mean, since then, he's kind of cooled off. But in this game, he did struggle just a little bit. I mean, he was kind of getting clamped up. I mean, he did have Chris Middleton, Barry, or Blake Griffin on him the entire time. Well, actually, Blake. It's going on Blake with him would have just been easy. But he did have Middleton or Barrett on him. And Barrett, he was doing his thing. He was doing his thing. I'm not even going to cap about that. He was, he was actually putting in some work. But anyways, here we go. Cash Stanley is very, very good. His numbers don't really say it because he don't, he don't get that kind of playing time. But you know, whenever he's in the game, he does his thing every single time. Now, if we, if we can just extend this lead, I think that we can win this game. I mean, we're obviously a really, really good team. And we have the best player in, in the NBA in Zion. And I think that we got the most depth, too. I mean, our bench with Porter, with Cassius. Uh, who else is on it? Ja, Leo, Okafor. That team is, is a starting lineup on a eighth seed Eastern Conference team easily. All right, well, let's see what we got, man. Let's see what we got. Zion, he had him jumping a little bit, and he finishes with contact very, very well. Now, let me know if you guys think that he's going to be the number one overall pick in real life. I think he low-key has that locked up. No, it's not even low. We all know. He has that locked up. He, he, he has it locked up right now. Going in half time, he has like 15 points already. He's doing his thing. So is Mo Bamba. Fultz has been terrible. Uh, other than his passing, he's been yeah, he's been pretty bad. 
Like, we're not going to lie about this. He, he's in really, really bad. Uh, his jump shots aren't really falling. But like I said, man, jury's still out on him. Even in the game, if he doesn't improve much, we might trade him because we have LaMelo now. We still got Porter. We got we got so many guards. Like, we have Tyler Hero. Like, we have so many guards that can play. So, that's not really a worry for us. For us you feel me? Let's see what we got here. 16 seconds left. Zion takes it right to the rack. Okay. I, I like that. If we can just play defense, we're going to be all right. We're still up by three. Come on. Clamp up Blake. Bamba, do not give Blake nothing. And, of course, he gets he gets another bucket. Come on. Can we score one more time before halftime? Fultz passes off to Zion. Straight to the rack. And we do it right, like, less than a second left. Now, going into that turn report, Zion has 22-5 and one assist. Blake with 13, 3, and 5. We got them in blocks. We, we got five blocks to their two. We got them in steals, too. Four to their one. Now, both teams are playing very, very well. I mean, we dropped 70 points in a half. Yeah, that that's that 2K pace. That is ridiculous, to be honest. But let's get back into the second half of this gameplay. Here's Zion. Let's see what he... Okay. Blake, don't even jump. Why would anybody jump and try and duff in that? I would never, ever do that. But anyways, guys, like I was saying before, just let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. Uh, whether you guys want me to actually do those news type update daily videos about the NBA. Uh, some certain NBA topics, some predictions and, 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 and stuff like that. Or, or just like you know, some stories from the NBA past. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Because I do want to get a lot more into that. I'm starting to like that a little bit more than 2K actually. I mean, the game cycle is almost done. So we, we kind of got to move on to something else. But just let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll get that thing popping. All right, we're actually down now, but, I mean, I'm not really worried. Because, I mean, it is a Knicks. We are a better team. And like I said, we got the best player on the court probably in the entire, like, game in Zion. Like, he's honestly unstoppable. I mean, his jump shot, it ain't really there, but it be going in sometimes. Like, whenever he's wide open, it, 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 it can go on. See, look, green. That's like, he's like one for like five, but I mean, it still went in. We're down by six. Okay, he misses the dunk. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Let's see what, what we got going. Let's pass it off to Porter. Money every single time. Four-point game. Four-point game. I mean, I really think that we can go back to back. And I think even whenever I'm done with, with this series, I might sim forward like 10 years to see where Zion ends up because his projection Man, look, look like he about to be the goat or something. I mean, it kind of it's kind of looking like what what Marbury said said he was the greatest of all time out time already. But as far as this game goes, I mean nobody's nobody's stopping that. Like nobody is stopping that at all. And look, he's just carrying us. Him and McDaniel's normally do. But hey, man, twenty nine seconds left. We're down by three. Let's see what we got going. This is a close game though. Like they are a good team. I still don't know why Moutier is starting over Smith, but fine. I guess Smith has not been developing. That's cool with me. Come on. Clamp up. Yeah. The best thing to do was just to foul him, to be honest. Because, like, I needed a couple of a couple of seconds to at least put up a three. Yeah, he got 21. Really? Really, bruh? <coughs> Come on. At least he missed the second one. All right. Who can hit a three? Who can hit a three? Oh, please make that. Let's freaking go. Yo, I, I did not know that Jackson was capable, but then I, I saw that A minus three right there had to pull it. I, I, I thought that there was like a 90% chance that he missed it. That was just a bad shot that I had to take. I mean, everyone else was like tight, tight defense was being played on them. He at least had like a foot. At, at least he made it, but now we're so down by one. We, we need to steal badly. Or we put Barrett at the line and make it a three-point game again. Awesome. He makes the first one. Yeah. Th this ain't good. I don't want Grant in, though. Forget that. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. How he missed that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Yo, shots out to, like, Barrett. In, in real life, he probably would have made it because, I mean, we obviously saw that he's, he's somewhat clutch. But that's what I'm talking about. This man missed a free throw. Now we have a chance to send it straight in overtime. You guys know the play that I, I love running. The ball's going to Zion. Like, you can believe that. It's going soon. 
It's going to them. We why would we stop what works? It works. It works. It's 135 to 135, and there's 2.3 seconds left. Come on. Do not let them score. We got to make sure that we have the best lineup out there. I'm not losing like this. This is the worst way to lose a game. All right. Uh, let's put in Stanley. Yeah, Fultz is coming off, though, for sure. Come on. Do not blow it. Stay on everybody. Let's go. Blake choked him. We're going straight into overtime. That's what I like. Who would have thought that this game would have been going into freaking overtime, bro? Like, who, who, would, who would actually have thought that? Let's get it. Let's get it. We're starting it off right with the easy Zion dunk and the foul. <laughs> and the foul. Three-point play. Let's go. That's how you do and start off. And now he got 41. He got 41. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that we got this. And I am going to go into SimCast because I really don't want to play this any much longer. And we're just blowing them out. Yeah. That, that was really, really fun. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go ahead and like it up and subscribe. Sorry about my voice, man. Like, I know it sounds all weird, bro, but it should be good in the next few days. Uh, but, yeah, guys, just let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel. I appreciate you guys' love and y'all support. A lot of big things planned, y'all. A lot of big things planned. Like I said, I do want to start coming with more NBA videos and stuff. Like, oh, my gosh, that, that man got super high. But I tried to go for the 50-piece. They ain't really let me. I mean, we end up winning 154 to 143. RJ Bear just walks up the court. Man, pissed. And man's pissed. I mean, he wasn't the best. I mean, he was all right. Plus, he, he could have sealed it <laughs> during during regulation anyways. Like, if, if we're being real, he honestly could have sealed it a long, long time ago. But getting straight into the stats part, obviously Zion was a beast for us the entire time. He was doing his thing. Like I said, M McDaniels did struggle a little bit. LaMelo was great for us. Blake Griffin for them at 28, 6, and 7. Barrett, 26 on 26 shots. 8 rebounds, 8 assists. He was good. Moutier, 20. Well, good is kind of like doing a little too much. But DSJ was 70% shooting, 19 points. He did his thing for our team, though. Zion, 51, 10, 5. 3 steals, 3 blocks. 50% from the 3. 22, 28 shooting. Bomba with 27 and 21 freaking boards. 6 assists. Ball with 18 and 10. This team was great. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bro, we are going back to back. I promise you. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace, y'all.